Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Blogging with Shay. How are you guys? Anyway, I'm not on the screen this time because I want to share a quick little marketing tip for some people who use extensions from Chrome or from Firefox. And um, I didn't want to share my screen because then there would be sensitive things on my computer and I didn't want the whole world to see. So I had to... Um, do it this way but anyway i'll be back um to be live and direct with you the next vlog but i wanted to talk about extensions like firefox and uh, chrome has on on, on on their platform and um what happened in windows 8. now prior to windows 8 especially in windows 7 you were able to drag and drop any extension whether it's something familiar or not for whatever reason, maybe they, they found a, a lot of the extensions were glitchy or, or whatever, they decided to get Apple on us and create this, uh, this store. Now, Chrome has a web, a web store, and Firefox always had their plugins and stuff. But what's happening is in Windows 8, you can't drag and drop anymore. So if it's not in the store... You can't use it. It's not going to drag and drop. If it's from the store, you drag and drop all you want. But if it's not, sorry, you can't do it. And, you know, there was a particular um, extension that I wanted to use that was not in the store. And I had to figure out what I'm going to do about it. And I Googled uh, and I um, went on YouTube to find this, but I couldn't find it. So I sort of figured it out and I figured that I could share it with everybody here and on YouTube. So this is what you would do, guys, if you want to add um, an extension that's not a part of the store because they will block you. You would click on these three lines here, and then you would go to settings. Once in settings, I have already, I already have it open. Once in settings, you're going to click extension. And that's when all your extensions will be shown, the ones that you added and Chrome has added or whatever. Like Chrome adds, cut, cut your rope, so it's there, right? The next thing you're going to do is click on developer mode, okay? And then you're going to click pack, extension. Then you're going to click here. It's going to say extension root directory. That's what you browse, right? And then from your computer, wherever you have your extension, you grab it from there and you click on it. Let's say, you know, you highlight it and just say, okay. And that's all you do. I already did it already. So I'm going to cancel these out. The next thing that you're going to do is you're going to unpack. You're going to load unpack extension. So you packed it and it's stored in whatever drivers and stuff they have on um, Chrome, and then you're going to unpack it here. So you click on this and you do the exact same action. You go to where your file is, probably a zip file or whatever. Click on that same file that you packed. You're just going to now unpack the extension and do the exact same thing. Highlight it. Okay. And then you're done. And that's it, guys. Then you'll see it appear. This is what I did um, today. And that's how I got this particular extension that I wanted to use on, on, on the Chrome application. So I hope this was helpful for you. I know I couldn't find it anywhere, so that's why I made a video and put it in my blog. Guys, um, subscribe to my channel and subscribe to my vlog. I love to help people. And if you need anything, just hit me up on my Facebook or anything, and I will gladly support whatever you're doing. Take care, and I'll see you in the next vlog.